Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Energy News Week Daily Stand Up. My name is Stu Turley, President and CEO of the Sandstone Group. Michael's on a customer site, and this is a wild day. Today is October 8th. Buckle up while I go through the top stories. Is Israel waiting for the U.S. elections to make its biggest move against Iran? Crude oil soars as three over 3.5% as Hezbollah strikes Hafia. Historic short squeeze sends oil prices higher. LNG is needed for decades to ensure the energy security. I would have to agree with that one. And Serbia's parliament debates a ban on lithium mining. There's a lot of lithium in the news right now. So buckle up, hang on, and let's go over this first story. Is Israel waiting for the U.S. elections to make its biggest move against Iran? I'll tell you, this is pretty big stuff. We're all waiting on pins and needles. And there's a big debate right now whether or not they're going to attack only the Karag Island, I believe is how you pronounce that, which is 95% of the Iranian export a facility that's there. Are they going to attack that? Are they going to attack the refineries or are they going to attack the nuclear? And in this article, discussions at high levels suggest that Russia may be assisting Iran in nuclear technology in exchange for missile support for the Ukraine war. Holy smokes, Batman. Full-scale Israeli strike on a nuclear site's way, technically feasible, risks severe retaliatory missile strikes. This is not a good situation, no matter which way you want to take a look at it. If you look at how this article plays out, it also says, firstly, the airstrike would force need to take off from a position allowed from the optimal air route from Israel to Iran. To top such candidates would appear to be Azerbaijan, which Israel has notably developed much closer relationships or other areas. So you've got to take a look at how they're going to get their airplanes over there and then back and then have the tankers meet the planes and fly around. This is not going to be very easy. They can do just about anything. The key thing that I saw a rumor, and this is a 100% rumor, but there were calls saying that there were very large earthquakes that had gone on in, in Iran. And were those, in fact, a nuclear warheads test? Don't know. But that would sure give a rise to whether or not they had nuclear weapons at this particular moment. Don't know. Pretty scary. Let's go to the next story here. Crude oil soars over 3.5 as Hezbollah strikes Hafia. Tensions are in the Middle East. Oil is up, let's see, 3.5%. Let me see what it is right now. It is currently at 77.14% for WTI and 78.69. That's very unusual to be that close. Israel has stepped up its bombing of Hezbollah targets in South Lebanon and Gaza. Unbelievable. So let's roll to the next story. Historic short squeeze sends oil prices higher. In this story, they're talking about when funds were the most short on oil on record, the broader energy space was the most sold sector, Goldman U.S. Prime Book, the, driven by U.S. short sales were outpaced by long buys, 6.4 to 1. And here we say was the hint to the next mega squeeze, as the recent short selling in energy was the largest in over five years. That's pretty nuts. When you take a look at over the last five years of short selling, they're really betting on it. Reza Delmangi mostly trades equities, but for the past week, he's been dipping in and out of the oil market, lured by the crude's biggest weekly rally in nearly two years. Quote, ever since we reached 67, it's been going up quite steadily and orderly, said Delgamani, I believe. I apologize for pronouncing your name wrong. A Phoenix-based day trader who's been trying to capitalize on the market short-term decision. When it's orderly, it's great. 
I'll tell you what, I'm really kind of nervous about the whole thing, though. And there's a lot of great information in here. The, the bottom line with record shorts now painfully squeezed as upward momentum has ignited across the energy sector. And with a flashing red line that, Riz that Israel has leveled Carg Island and looming and unwind what a week ago, a record short position in oil and energy stocks is just getting started buckle up and well if you've got the nerve or the stomach go make some money let's roll to the next story here lng needed for decades to ensure energy security lng regular investments will be required to keep this demand and as long as we can keep the government out of stopping or putting permit holds on LNG. Reduced investment will impact both access to affordable and reliable energy and economic growth for producers and consumer, the group says. This is pretty, the International Group of Liquefied Natural Gas Importers. I couldn't agree with them more. In fact, we were talking about that this morning on the Energy Realities podcast with David Blackman, Irina Slav, and Tammy Nemeth. And we covered that then. It is, if you stifle oil production, you will stifle uh, your economy's growth. In fact, net zero equals deindustrialization. And if you demonize or get rid of your fossil fuels, your economy will hold and go down. And so it's either be prosperous, use fossil fuels, but let's not pollute. You got to be a fan of the show to understand how I'm saying that. So Serbia's parliament debates a ban on lithium mining. This is huge. Serbian parliament began debating on opposition, a proposal of ban lithium and bore mining and exploration, which effectively put an end to contested uh, Rio Trento project in the west of the country. I agree there is a time and a place. There's never been a greater danger for Serbia. Nothing will stop without lithium. There will be no apocalypse and no austerity. The ruling coalition said it will not look back. The opposition proposal has a comfortable majority of 156 deputies in the 250-seat parliament. Parliament will vote on the proposal in the coming days pending the end of the debate. I have mixed emotions. Mining is something that you do need. Energy security needs to be done as much as you can within your own country. However, there is a lot of discussion on lithium mining in the United States and whether or not there are companies that are going to take advantage and destroy land or make a land grab over mines. If that is the case, mining is not a good thing. And I don't know that the energy transition is actually in the best possible light in order to do that. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see how this turns out in Serbia's parliament. We'll be following it and with that. So with that, like, subscribe, share, read this to your pets. We're going to have our hearts and our prayers out for all Floridians as this next hurricane is firing up. It's a Cat 5, and I just read that it is now one of the Hurricane Milton is absolutely one of the biggest hurricanes ever recorded. This is really a frightening day for that. And so our hearts and prayers go out for all the other Hurricane Helene victims as well, too. So buckle up. I do want to say I have my Starlink Mini. Please go out and buy yours today. You, it is imperative that you have a communication plan. You have a 24-hour bag. You have a 72-hour bag. And you have a way to make sure that you can take care of your friends and your family. So with that, buckle up and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.